You know, it's funny. I think that every therapist has a personal story that led us to this career. This is often not work that you just sort of wake up one day and think, oh, that would be fun. For me, it really started in childhood and early adolescence. And I think somewhere between middle school and high school, I just, I began to realize that the well-being of the people around me affected my own well-being. And really what I mean is I began, before I had the words to explain it, what I started to recognize is that my relationship to myself and their relationships to other people and to themselves, all of those things were so intertwined. My ability to feel confident was intertwined with my parents and my family. The well-being of the adults in my life impacted the well-being of myself as a, as a child, as a young person, and vice versa. If I wasn't doing well, they weren't doing well. And I think that really began my interest in relationships and, and the exploration of what is psychology, what is therapy, what is mental health all about. And so it's certainly about these very individual things, right? These specific diagnoses, depression, anxiety. But at its core, therapy is really about exploring our humanity. And so fast forward through college and relationships and graduate school and the beginning of my career, I realized that I had a really unique perspective on the role of relationships. More than just being a couples therapist or a family therapist, I understood and I now had words for the ways in which our relationship, again, to ourselves and to those around us, whether that be our most intimate relationships or those relationships that um, are in our communities, in the larger collective, that those things impact us and that we impact each other. And so group therapy associates really began from a place of understanding the importance of our groups, the groups of people that we belong to, the groups of people we influence, the groups of people who influence us. And so at the core, GTA is really about creating space for the humanity within each and every one of us recognizing that what might feel individual also has a connective and communal component. And whether you're bringing people with you to your therapy session or you're just working one-on-one -on -one with one of our therapists, the work here is always going to be about feeling connected, feeling seen, feeling cared for. What I know for sure is that therapy is most successful when it allows you to feel like you can be all of who you are and that all of who you are is valuable and worthy. And if that's something you struggle with, um, then this is the place for you. We create an environment to help you work through that, to help you to recognize the ways that you are both influential and influenced, and that that can be an incredibly beautiful thing. So that's really the heart of GTA. That's the story, that's my personal story, that's how we got here.